Well hello there guys and this is another video in C programming tutorial and in this video we are going to quickly talk about functions. So if you remember I told you in the beginning that anything followed by parentheses is a function and main is a function which is executed first when the program is executed. So main is like this set of, of statements is there and that's pretty much it so what happens is whenever you execute a program the main function is called and the calling of function means running the set of statements associated to that function so why do you need functions is that if you say want to repeat something again and again in your program somewhere else like you want to say add first then do something and after a while add again so instead of just writing the statement a plus b and then do something and then write say c plus d c plus d equal to something sum equal to c plus d sum equal to a plus b instead of writing this again and again if your program say if you want to do thousands of times after each some set of set of statements so you will write the sum c plus d thousands of times again and again. So basically you are repeating the statements again and again. So what you can do is you can just make a function called add which essentially does this sum equal to a plus b and then you can just replace this anywhere of this. Instead of writing the sum is equal to c plus d you can just write this function name and call it. So I'm going to quickly show you the working of the function. So we're going to jump into the code now. Hash include stdio.h. First I'm going to show you the most basic function and for like you declare the variables you have to declare the function. So this is how we declare the function. We tell the return type which the function will return after the execution is completed and we then we tell the name of the function. In this case I'm just going to say hi and then we put in the parentheses and inside the parentheses we put parameters which I'm going to show you in a second then I'm going to make my main function and inside my main function I'm just gonna call my main high function this is how you call the function and that's what I'm going to do so now I have called my high function I have declared my high function but I am missing my set of statements to execute it and for the C programs the main function is declared inside them by default so you don't need to declare it you just need to define them and they are obviously called at the start of the execution so you don't need to call them again so this is how we declare the function this is right right here is the, de the defi definition of the function so I'm just gonna show you how to define high function void high and inside this function I'm gonna print high and a new line. So now I'm going to run this and it's going to print high. See it printed high. So what happened over here is when I executed the program it read that it has to include sdi.h file okay. Then it read this line oh okay you're declaring a high function which doesn't have any parameters and which doesn't have any return types alright and then it executed my main function so inside it it's uh it will run any statement below it for uh above the high function first and then it saw that oh okay now the high function is there oh so i have to find the definition of high function so okay here it is and i have to do this inside the high function so it printed the high value because that's what it executed and then it will continue the execution from below the high function so this is a basic thing this is without a return type. Now I'm going to show you quickly with a return type, with an integer return type. So whenever this function is called, it will return an integer. And say, to return something, you have to do this. Return, and the value you want to return it. I'll say return integer 2. So from here, it will return an integer 2. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to catch that value of integer in x. So I'm going to write x equal to 2. So what will happen over here is, 
it will ex uh, call my main function first, so execute the statements inside the main function, so which will be saying, oh, okay, you're declaring an x variable which is of integer type, and x equal to this high, so this will be evaluated first. So high function will run, it will print f high, then it will return 2. So wherever I have called the high function, 2 will be re 2 will replace it, so x will become equal to 2. And then to prove it to you, I'm going to print f quickly an integer, which is x. And I'm going to run it. Just going to compile it quickly. So you can see it printed me high and then printed me the value of x which became 2. So now let's come to the parameters. Say I want an integer parameter or say I want two integer parameters. So this is how I'll declare a parameterized function. It will have two parameters. It can have more, it can have less. So now in the calling of it, I have to uh, I have to send those values. So I'm going to send those values right here. I'm going to pass it 4 and 5. And okay, now these 4 and 5 need to be associated to this somehow. So to associate these values, 4 and 5, we will as write, declare the variables over here. Int b. And now this, what will happen is c will be equal to 4 and b will be equal to 5. And to prove it to you, I'm just going to print them over here. Person d, person d, I'm going to first print c and then b. It's alright, and then I'm going to leave a line after this as well. Okay, so now we run. And as you can see, it printed me high, 4, 5, because c equal to 4 because of this c was equal to 4 now, b was equal to 5 now, and then it printed me the value of c and b, and then it returned the value of 2, x became 2. Now I'm going to show you something, I can also pass variables to function c equal to 2, c equal to say 10, and b equal to say 15. Now I'm going to pass c and b over here, c and be over here. Now this C and this C are different from each other because they are not inside the same block. So the variables have their scope. For example, this X will be available to you only inside this block. If I try to use X anywhere outside this block, it will give me an error. So I cannot use X inside here. So similarly this int C and int B is associated to this block and this C and this B is associated to this block over here. Error. This C and this B is associated to this block. So this C and this C are differentiated in, with each other in terms of the blocks they are inside. Because this C will be available to uh, only in this block so after this block is executed this C will logically be destroyed. It will not exist anymore. So this won't be conflicting to each other. Let me just show you quickly. I'm going to compile it and run it. And voila. We see high 10 and 15. And then we see 2 because x was returned to. We can have wide over here. It will work fine. Y just Let me just show you that too. So now it's not returning anything. So I don't need to catch the value. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to remove this, and I don't need to return anything. I save it, compile it, and run it. So this is pretty much it about the functions. You use them to uh, make a set of statements and give them a name, so that you can just call that name to use those set of statements again and again. In the next video, I'm going to go uh, through a revision of what all we have learned, and I'm going to make a program which uses functions and every, almost everything which we have used by now. So if you have any doubts, please leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.